Hi, this is Lu Kieng there from RealDX Lite, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at an overview of how we work with Blender and Unreal Engine, and why you should consider learning um, these two software for your future project. But keep in mind that this is not a detailed tutorial of how to use Blender and Unreal Engine, and more of a quick overview of how and why we decide to work with these tools. We always start our new project with whatever interests us. Uh, it can be a movie, a music video, animated film, or simply random images from YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. We are not tied to only one image. It can be multiple of them and then we try to find a way to connect them. Once we know the kind of things that we want to make it, then we collect reference from Pinterest, ArtStation, or simply Google and sometimes YouTube as well. And then we bring all the images together in pure apps. I'm gonna put the download link in the description. Now it's time to assemble an assets. We'll avoid modeling as long as we can and only model those things which are like absolutely necessary and cannot be found online. Sometimes we bought the assets or download the free version. So let me explain a little bit about this stage while I'm arranging these assets. Before I work on a film production company, I try to do everything by myself from scratch. I'll model every little thing that is visible on the camera, uh, which is good if you are learning modeling. Uh, but from my own experience, it's okay to know the model stuff, but once you know how to do the foundations, like uh, fixing some holes, extrude along normals, uh, and basically if you know how to model um, Blender Gorus Donut, then you're good. This is because at the end of the day, uh, the only thing that matter is the final render and how it looks and not if you spend like five days modeling on a table which barely visible on a camera i hope you get a point and if you are working in any studio uh, they will buy the 3d assets or hire a separate modeler anyway but this doesn't mean you can skip modeling uh, unless you want to be a modeler if you want to if you know the uh, the basics then you're good to go there is something which is really important to keep in mind um, while you arrange these assets. Uh, you should always have an actual size reference or otherwise um, your asset size will stay like inconsistent and can break the scene very quickly. Now pay attention to how you place your assets. Um, try to give your viewer some point of interest. This is because if they don't have that point of interest, uh, within your frame, uh, they're gonna board like super quickly. It can be anything and in this case, it's the chair. Place the camera in an early stage but you can always make an adjustment later on. When you've placed your camera, then, then you don't spend a lot of your time on something which is not visible on the camera so um, you don't waste your time. Now let's say you're happy with the compositing, uh, it's time to migrate all your scene to Unreal. So I recommend watching this two tutorial on how to migrate your scene to Unreal Engine. You're gonna need um, Datasmith or um, Lifelink add-on. So don't delete your blend file because um, when you apply materials to the mesh, um, sometimes the UV will mess up and in order to fix this issue, uh, you're gonna need to go back to the blend file and fix the UV then update your scene We don't use blender default materials that comes with um, Datasmith or Unreal We use Cinema 4D default materials instead This is how the node setup looks like I know this is insane, but the good news is you don't have to know how to set up all this stuff All you have to know is how to use it, which is like super simple so we just have uh, one uh, Cinema 40 master materials and then we instance it as many as we need. So like assembling the assets and compositing goes together, um, material and lighting works the same. So we have to do these two things at the same time. 
you don't have to match your reference exactly as you saw it in the image but now try to pull out the same emotions or feelings you get from that image for example if i look at this image then i feel a bit more relaxing calm and happy vibe that's what i'm trying to pull off with this render Unreal has these very powerful tools uh, which combine all the four elements and works as one army. Let me show you how it works. When you select these icons, all your setups are done. Now simply move the directional light, just rotate it and then you're gonna see the magic. This will do everything for you. This scene is fully dynamic uh, with no bake light. Uh, we can turn on the ray tracing features um, which add more realistic feels to it But you're good to go even without ray tracing if you don't have any RTX card by the way, I'm, I'm using um, RTX 2080 Ti which is um, a pretty powerful um, You know graphics card back then When you're done with the setting up uh, lighting then we can render this scene uh, which is like 700 frames at 4k within like five minutes which is insane and if we are trying to get the the same looks in blender then i think we have to wait at least 30 minutes per frame if we render it in 4k and yeah that's how we made all the scene and i hope you learn uh, something out of it and i know this is not a step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this but i'm working on the next video which has two version uh, one with long format and uh, one with uh, short which is uh, like this video um, in that long video I explain every little detail uh, as best as I can uh, which will be available on my patreon um, this is for people who want to support this channel and uh, for people who are serious about VFX and want to start their career using um, visual effects and so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.